Crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and do you know what time it is? It's time to make a clock. We're going to use Spellbinder's new line of dies called Inspire and they have one that's this adorable little bicycle and the wheels were the perfect way to make the numbers for a clock. Let me show you how. This is a totally adorable new line of dies called Inspire. They have lots of really cute trendy images like this little bicycle. I found an old record from the salvage store and it turned out to have just the right circumference that I needed to fit 12 bicycle wheels and we're going to die cut those from Spellbinder's craft foils. These foil sheets are really nice and thick so use a piece of cardstock underneath the die kind of like a shim and that'll help you get a really crisp cut. Put that cutting plate on top of the base plate and run it right through your Artisan Explorer machine. Now take the bicycle off the die and um, pop out all the little spaces in between the wheels. I just think this bicycle was totally meant to be metallic, don't you think so? These are so cute with the little pedals and the basket on the handlebars. So we're going to use two each of three different colors for the clock. I used a nice white paper that had a metallic sheen for the clock face and the foil colors of the bicycles are going to really pop against it. Paint a nice thin coat of decoupage medium on the record. I would work one half at a time and then press the paper down into position and use a piece of parchment paper with a brayer to smooth it all down to get rid of any creases and you want to roll from the center out. After that's dry, punch a little hole in the center of the record and then position those bicycles evenly all around the perimeter. And you want to make sure you have a wheel properly placed at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock first. Then you're going to cover the back of each bike with a thin coat of glue and press it into place with all the wheels an even distance apart. And use that parchment sheet with the brayer again to make sure all those little pieces are, are smooth against the clock face. For the numbers, you can just cover some one inch round paper die cuts with clear uh, dimensional epoxy stickers. Glue each number inside a wheel and you might have to shift some off center a bit so that they're spaced evenly all the way around for the, to tell the time the right way. Print whatever sentiment you like in reverse onto inkjet film and then use a glue stick to adhere it ink side down and put that right on the face of the clock and press it down real smooth. If you don't like the gold tone of the clock hands that come with the kit, you can dab some alcohol ink to change the color. Now just follow the instructions on the package of the clock kit to fit all those little pieces together and the clock movement goes underneath. You poke the bolt up through the hole in the center of the record. Then you add your little washer and your little nut and tighten everything down to secure it. And there's this little notch above where the battery goes so you can hang your clock on the wall. Pop on the hour hand, then the minute hand, twist down another little nut to hold those both in place. Then the second hand goes right at the very top, add a battery, and you're done. Now take some time to enjoy the ride. I'm Lisa Fulmer, and you know I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>